That's what we're gonna be working on today. Converting a trailer to carry motorcycles. A standard utility trailer I got from Lowe's. It's a five by eight. Now that is the trailer I used to go, that I originally went and picked up my bike from Naples down south, which is about, you know, 400 miles. Uh, it did fine for one bike. Uh, the grate that's on it that you can kind of see through uh, didn't get the greatest reviews at the fact that the welds can break and the bike can fall through or you know there's some horror stories i read about so what we're going to do is we're going to convert it to carry two bikes uh, to carry my z900 and my wife's r3 because we are going to the mountains and we're going to be riding the smoky mountains the blue ridge parkway the, the dragon tail and uh, maybe some other rides around there so we want to trailer both the bikes. And so we're going to do some modifications. So we're going to put a spare tire on it, just in case, never know. So we're going to bring a spare tire. Uh, the trailer now does not have a jack. So it basically just sits on the ground, uh, which makes it a little difficult to take the trailer off the truck. And then also to stabilize the bikes, we have two wheel chocks that I got from Amazon. Very similar to the ones I guess you can get from Harbor Freight. And I'll put uh, links all in the bottom in the description and any details uh, along with the lumber and bolts and screws that I'm using. So I did go to Lowe's, picked up some bolts, some lag bolts, some screws, some nut nuts and washers. And we're gonna go ahead and deck out this trailer. So let's get started. Here's the Max Hall motorcycle wheel chalk. Let's go ahead and open this up, see what we got. We got some instructions, some packing. Let's see. Well, it looks like it's already put together for us. Kinda. So it looks like it just needs to be tightened up. We'll go through and adjust and tighten and see. Looks like it comes with some bolts, some spacers, some more spacers, some nuts lock washers so we'll look at the instructions and see what what needs to be tightened what needs to be adjusted so this is the trailer jack made by reese uh thousand pounds lift capacity now i got it from lowe's for they wanted forty dollars at lowe's was able to get it for 32 they price matched amazon but if you have a harbor freight I think Harbor Freight, with a 20% off coupon, you get it for like $24. The Max Hall spare tire holder, got that on Amazon for $13, uh, which Lowe's wants like $35. So this was a pretty good deal here. So here's the trailer. So as you see, it sits right on the ground. See-through, the metal grate which I mean it did okay when I pulled the bike up when I brought it from Naples the front tire sat on this support got the trailer all mounted up and ready to go so I added the jack, bolted it up, I added a spare tire carrier that's bolted up, put down one and a quarter by one by six pressure treated with lag bolts, put in a, a round support so I can get the bikes up there, strap it down to that point. Got these bolted down. A little funny because you got to screw through so you got to watch out because you'll hit the grate and the bolts won't go through so you got to check those first i ran little tiny pilot holes first and make sure you check the bolts on if you do decide to get one of these check the bolts they're all kind of loose so i had to tighten those up now this is what it looks like underneath so here's the tire chalk those four bolts there. These are for the lumber here. And then the big long one sticking down is the eyelet. All right, so let's get it hooked up to the truck. 
and throw some bikes on there.